So this is the Concorde, the supersonic airline, where the nose actually had to bend down during landing and it had this delta wing design. So let's go figure out how I built this Concorde in less than five minutes and 221 pieces from a Lego Classic kit. Okay, let's go check it out. Welcome back everybody. And we need to build a Concorde. I'm not sure, I, I love the Concorde. It, it's one of the most amazing airplanes ever invented. Um, however, it's got a feature that I'm not sure how we're gonna replicate in Lego form, especially with the limited Legos that we have available to us today. So we are gonna do a five minute challenge Let's put five minutes on the clock. Let's see how we're going to build the Concorde. So the Concorde um, has two features. It's got a delta wing, which is, it starts here and goes wide out the back. And then it's got a nose that points downwards. Yeah. So like, it needs to look like that almost. I mean, and then the, wing let's see how can i build the wing up maybe if i do it like that like that and then like that Ooh, that could be that could be the right shape it's very slopey Something like that. This in the middle here. And how are we going to anchor it? From underneath. Underneath. Okay, so now fill it in like so with fuselage. Okay. Then underneath, that's the trick. So we got to put a little this and this and this and this. And what do we have? Too big, too big, too big. <clears throat> then what we'll do is we'll hide these support structures somehow. This is gonna go right here. These need to go here and here. There. So there's the main fuselage. And I believe it had a pretty big tail to it. And it had a really cool shape. So now, how do I do the nose? That's the next hard part. I need to make it like that. Almost like a duck bill, kind of pointing downwards. Wheels, we'll just stick the wheels on like that. On the support structure. There we go. So now, the only thing is the angle that we need to make this work. Okay. 
actually more like this. How do I get an angle? How do I get a slant? I don't have much time left. Maybe if I do it like that. You see what I'm saying? It's a little too glary. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. Okay, I'm over five minutes of time. Okay, got it. But I want to figure this nose out. That's a little, that's a little better. Maybe if I did, got an idea. What if I did something like this? No. It's very sleek. I mean, it. I think the main route was New York City to London, Heathrow Airport to JFK. I think that was the main route that it went on each and every day. The point of it was to be supersonic, to be the first supersonic airliner, and it, and it was that. And it operated well. It uh, had the sonic boom when you used to travel. But it was designed really early. So the luxuries that you see in those YouTube videos today of the apartments on um, Saudi Air or whatever, those didn't exist. That was not high class travel. High class travel was business, business travel. And business travel meant getting there fast and um, getting there back fast. So the Concorde was that invention and it cut out multiple hours in that route between um, New York City and Heathrow Airport. Uh, what if I did, what if I did something else? And because of that, it was very successful at the early stages, but later on with luxury travel being a thing, they either had to redesign the Concorde uh, for that luxury travel market, or they had to come up with a new design. And the, the cost of a new design outpaced the reward. So maybe, 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 maybe. I'm gonna fix something, let's look. Conductor. Is that better? Yeah, that's not bad. That's actually the best so far. Uh, so it was an amazing airplane. Quite an amazing airplane. What if I did... I think the black works. Sticking out the bottom like that. I mean, it's not perfect, but I think that works. 
So it is a very long plane. You used to fly in like that with the nose um, anchored down. And then when it would get up to speed, the nose would straighten up so that it could get supersonic. But because of that, it had to have a super long nose cone to be supersonic. But when you land, you don't want a really long nose. So that's the reason why the nose used to dip down during landing. So that's the unique, one of the uniquenesses of the Concorde is when it was landing like this, the nose cone had to be pointed down. And then during flight, it would go up and use for the supersonic speeds that the uh, Concorde had. And it had this delta wing, uh, very, you know, not very wide in regular standards, but it was very big, very big, like a shuttle um, kind of look to it with that delta wing. So there you go. That's the Concorde. Um, thanks for sticking around a little bit past my five minute mark. I still don't really like that nose cone too much, but it gets the point across, which is a little something extra on the underside when it was landing so there you go there's the concord leave a suggestion down below as to how i would have redesigned that nose cone um i really would like to learn from you guys so leave a comment down below as if you could have done this a little bit better also if you want to see tomorrow's build hit the subscribe button and you'll get tomorrow's build typically at five uh, 7 a.m in the morning eastern standard time so let's go spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. So the Concorde was a cool idea. So now let's go ahead and spin the wheel and find out what we're doing tomorrow. So this is aviation month. So we're going to do an airliner. So an airliner. So some sort of like 737 or 747 or 777. Something like that. So an airliner. Let's go build an airliner tomorrow morning. We release a new video at 7 a.m. each and every day. So go ahead and tune into it.